So let's start like this. You have a best friend, and this your best friend happens to be head over heels in love with a particular guy that is her crush. This her crush happens to meet both of you together, and he ends up liking you instead. What would you do? Hmm. Guys, grab your popcorn and your juice as we jump into this emotional roller coaster and unravel the drama and the intrigue of this unforgettable tale. Yes, so guys, here we are. So we have this amazing, amazing, wonderful movie of Bolaji Ogumola. This lady is literally becoming one of my favorite producers. Like, she never slacks, guys. This particular movie, Searching, is a beautiful movie of Bolaji Ogumola. Yes. So she did this particular one with Eso GK and Kiki. So this is a beautiful story, okay? And see Bolaji with Kiki doing this particular one. Guys, I know it's for sure going to be a classic comic beautiful movie. And trust me, it was it, okay? So we have Bolaji playing the role of Linda. Kiki playing the role of Dami and Eso DK playing the role of Bayor. So this movie basically talks about those beautiful, gorgeous, classy ladies who were best friends. They were wealthy, they were influential, they had everything they wanted but they were not lucky with men, okay? They found it difficult to attract the right men to themselves. They needed to get married by all means. They were literally desperate to marry. Okay? They were already in their 30s, so they felt that they needed a man in their life. They've acquired everything, but they were still unhappy, okay? So they went on dates, blind dates. They started searching for men on dating apps, but it was not just working for them at all. Dami was a very saucy girl, very rude and outspoken. She was once in a relationship with a particular guy. She sponsors his lifestyle, but it was not just working for them. She speaks to him anyhow. She had no regard for him. She reminds him every time that she was the one who cleaned him up, okay? The guy had to end things with her because he felt that he was being disrespected in a relationship and she had no regard for him at all. It really hurt Dami so badly. She was so heartbroken. You know, she was then so, so eager to be with anybody. She was was really desperate she didn't even mind who the person was at all linda on the other hand had no man at all she was single you know she was going on dates with people but she was not lucky at all with them so one fateful day dami went out on a date with a particular guy she met on a dating site and she realized that the guy in person was totally different from the person she has been speaking to on the site she was so upset and she had to create a scene there so on her way going out she bumps into this her long time friend in the university by your he happens to be the son of the vice chancellor of their school they were so shocked to see each other again she was so so excited like the guy was looking so handsome rich okay so she was really attracted to him instantly yes yeah, so she asked the guy if he was married the guy said no he's single and she was like wow can i have your number okay he shared his number with her and he told her that he wants them to you know have a drink together and she should invite her best friend Dami was just so filled with excitement because she felt like, uh-uh, she has caught a big fish. Thank God that he is single, okay? So she went home. She told her best friend of how her date, her blind date was so awful and how she met the son of the vice chancellor, Bayo. They were so excited, okay? And she told her about the, the drink they'll be having together. Fortunately for Dayo, their meetup was held in Linda's apartment. Dami couldn't get her eyes off Bayo. She was just staring at him, bringing conversations. Okay, she didn't even allow her friend to say a word. So she realized that Bayo was trying to speak to the friend and she told the friend secretly to excuse them. When she left, Bayo was not comfortable staying alone with Dami. So he gave an excuse of having something to do at work. So he needs to be home early so that night dami and her friend linda got talking okay dami was just expressing how she feels about bio how she loves him how she cannot wait for them to be together she was just going on and on and on about bio 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 okay and linda was just like okay she gets so then after the particular day what we saw next was bio knocking on the door of linda's apartment then linda opened the door Lo and behold, it was Bayo. What are you doing here? That was what was in her mind. So she offered Bayo a seat and a drink. So they got talking and Bayo had to spill everything to her, telling Linda that 
he really loves her that he has always had feelings for her right from when they were in the university but he didn't have the balls to approach her and she was like really he said yes wow she was so shocked and she was like what about my friend dami dami really loves you and he said that he cares about his feelings towards her okay that he doesn't love dami at all he only likes her as a friend and he has nothing to do with her wow it was so so tough for linda to process knowing how much her friend dami was crazy about Dio, she didn't even know how to react she had to force him to like her friend and he was like don't you deserve to be loved i love you i don't love your friend and she asked him to take her friend out on a date that she really loves him so she, oh, he needs to go out on a date with her friend and he was like okay he would do that because of her and if he doesn't still like dami or feel anything for dami he would come for her and she said that i promise you nothing so guys Bayo eventually went out with Dami. When they came back, the situation as which Dami was was not palatable at all. She drank herself to stupor and she was already so drunk. He took her to Linda's apartment and told Linda that the date didn't go well at all, that she owes him a date. Guys, eventually Linda and Bayo went on a date. Bayo was so sweet to her, he was so loving, he was caring, he was the kind of man she has always prayed for, the perfect gentleman. So she thought of it and she told herself that, is she sure she's making the right decision, that she has been trying to push her friend to this particular man that is head over heels in love with her, that is she actually making the right choice. So she gave it a deep thought and she came up with the decision of following her heart. The guy was so excited when she accepted to be his girlfriend, he couldn't contain his happiness. So he told his girlfriend to break the news to her friend and she was so scared. She said she doesn't want to break it to her friend now. She doesn't know how to even, you know, communicate that with her, that she would just have to think of the best way to tell her friend. Wow. So the guy was patient enough with her, not until a particular day when he realized that he's already taking too much, okay, the whole hide and seek when her friend is coming over to her house, that he doesn't like it at all that they are not kids they are adults they can do whatever they want to do that he doesn't like it at all so he kind of expressed his pain and she was like you should just bear with her okay that she's looking for the best time the best way to tell her friend to break the news to her friend okay because he had already gone behind her back to tell dami that he's or he's in love with someone else okay but he didn't tell her the person he just broke the news to her so dami was so heartbroken you know she was so hot she didn't know what to do she even had to tell her friend linda to stop seeing the guy okay so she didn't just know how to just process everything you know breaking the news to her friend that she's already dating him it was so difficult for her guys and i'm like oh wow so something actually happened guys and this is where i'm going to stop this review okay i do not want to spoil this amazing movie for you all oh, guys you need to go and watch this movie searching okay this is basically one of the most amazing movies i have seen this 2024 i'm not even capping guys the storyline is beautiful guys it is a comic classy movie and when i say classy i mean classy down to the video quality it is beautiful it is clean the cinematography the sound the cast the choice of cast kiki kiki made this movie beautiful okay i love her funny way i love the way she speaks and Bola G, Bola G is an amazing actress. Like, I love the way she and Kiki blended. Okay, it was so beautiful. And having Esse, oh my goodness, Esse is amazing. All of them did pretty well okay guys i need you to watch how this movie ended the way this movie ended was so beautiful like i love the fact that they took out time to vet this movie the person who wrote the script thank you so much you did an amazing work here it was so beautiful everything was amazing okay so guys the question i asked earlier about you finding out that your friend's crush is actually crushing on you what would you do if you're in that situation would you choose love over a friendship of 22 years guys hmm guys let even come and cheat please let's just about this one you see if i was to be in Bolaji's shoe i think i would go for love than the friendship okay so this is it knowing how much this particular guy loves me how he cares for me how he's so intentional about me how he's ready to you know take the bold step of going as far as telling my friend that he loves me but sees her as a friend and he has not even for once tried to lead 
my friend on trust me i would go for him and i think he's the right person okay it's a different thing when you don't even when you're not even sure of that particular guy you're going into okay if he's that you're having double mind about that person i just feel like i'll just go for my friend but when i have seen that this particular guy is genuine i just think going for that going for love is better okay and this is also it friendship lasts for a period of time okay you cannot have this particular friend every time your friend will eventually get married she would have kids her attention her love would be divided and you might just have like three percent of that attention and love that you've always had okay so she won't always be there friendship lasts for a period of time they won't always be there unlike lovers lovers will always be there what if the person you're trying to you know kick away because of your friend happens to be the mr right so i just feel like you letting some important things or or important people go is better okay when those people see that okay this is why you did this particular thing i think they will come back because you are genuine about it okay so that's just the thing about friendship and love okay you need to know how to manage friendship and love you need to know how to make right decisions so you won't eventually make mistake so guys that is basically my thought on this i want to know your thoughts what you think about it what would you choose would you go for friendship or go for love and let me just know your reasons okay thank you so very much guys for watching you all need to go and see this movie searching showing on Bolaji ogumola's tv it is super amazing and please i need you all to subscribe to this youtube channel at hotspots with love it and favor please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to like this video share the video see you all in my next video until then stay splendid